Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to fix Sea of Thieves 2025 edition not installing on Xbox for the PC. Okay, the first thing you want to do is update your Windows 11. I am not actually very good at doing this, but I should be doing it. Type in settings and search. Left hand side on the bottom, you're going to see something called Windows Update. Click on that. And here, uh, check for updates. I have an update that I need to install, but yes, okay. The next thing you want to do after you have done this is to uh, make sure the Xbox app is the latest version. So open the Microsoft Store. And here, uh, type in Xbox, Xbox app. And from here, uh, you can click on uh, open, but from here you can see if you have the latest version. And from here, uh, it will tell you if you have an update. Um, right now I need to update my Windows Media Player, but yes, uh, you should check for updates here and make sure that you have the newest version. Okay, the next thing you want to do is clear the Xbox app cache. How do you do that? Type in Windows, I'm sorry, press the Windows button, press R or the search button here and type in run, uh, type in wsreset.exe, press enter, a blank command prompt window will appear and then clean the cache and then close and then this will open. So what you have do just done was clear the cache. And from here, uh, try to install the game once again. This should have fixed the issue. You also want to check if you have enough free space on your drive. So you need at least 100 gigabytes for see if these, yes, 100. Again, type in settings in the search bar thing here. On the left hand side, go to system and from here, go to storage. And then you can see how many gigs you need. I have 952 gigs, you need at least 100 gigs. Now, okay, the next thing you want to try, if you have more than one drive available, try to install it on a different drive. Ideally, by the way, you want to install uh, anything on Xbox app to your main drive. What is your main drive? If you open your file explorer, whatever, whatever Windows is installed on, whatever Xbox app is installed on is your main drive. If it's not on your main drive, it causes a lot of issues, especially when it uh, tries to create the cache and other temporary files. I, I, I'm not quite sure why, but that's what happens. The next thing you want to do is uh, try resetting. So uh, from this here in the settings uh, thing, on the left hand side, click on apps from here. Uh, scroll down until you see, uh, let's see, installed apps. And then from installed apps, you want to look for Xbox, click on the three little dots on the right hand side, click on advanced options and scroll down and then you'll see a button here that says reset and do that to see if that fixes your issue. Okay, next. and the next and last step, if nothing else has been working, is to perform a clean boot. What does that mean? It eliminates all third party app interferences. So how do you do that? Type in run, type in msconfig, all one word, press enter. Now this will come up under the services tab on the very top. You want to click on hide all services and then click, uh, click disable all. Then on the startup tab, open task manager and disable all of the startup items and then restart your PC and then try to install once again. If this video helped you, please leave the video a like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Have a nice day.